everybody, it's Caitlin back with the STEAM programs. Um, this year has been quite long, quite stagnant. Um, we're looking to start doing STEAM programs once a month, so I thought we would start off with something a little bit easy um, with things that you can probably find around home. If not, like I always say, Dollar Tree is the best. <laughs> you can go and find everything at Dollar Tree and especially the one next to base, they have like up their craft section so much. Make sure you guys go and check it out. Um, this idea I did find on Pinterest. Um, all you have to do really is just type in like, uh, I believe it's like spinning paint top and then you can pull up the directions. Um, if you still need the directions and can't find them, feel free to email us. Um, this video is going to feature a lot of my hands. so. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see everything. Um, so we're gonna get started. So essentially what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be turning this CD into a spinning paint top using pens, four pennies of the same size, rubber bands, and then of course your paints. Now I see kind of how this will work, it's kind of like taking this top and putting a ton of paint on the outside of it. And what we want our CD pen creation to do is spin and splatter paint everywhere. So yes, it will be messy. Um, I have an apron on. You might want to wear an apron or some clothes you don't mind ruining. We'll see. But let's go ahead and get started with building. So essentially you want to take the pen and start wrapping your rubber bands around it first. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. I have a ton of rubber bands. Um, I just bought like a whole bag of them at Dollar Tree. It should be enough. I think around 15 for each side should be enough maybe. You just want it to be thick enough to hold the pen in place right around here. So you just keep looping like you're tying up really, really, really super thick hair. A few moments later. Just keep checking the size too. I'm going to wrap probably around two more around the base just to hold it. Probably going to wrap two more around the base just to hold it in place. I'm going to tighten this one up just a little bit. More moments later. This is how you're essentially going to be spinning everything. But I'm going to wrap a couple more rubber bands right around here just to make sure the CD stays in place. Meanwhile. I just realized I should have done this before I put the CD on there, but I'm a little excited. I got a little ahead of myself. What you want to do is practically coin here, 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 and here. And I'm using masking tape. You can use any kind of tape. This is just the tape that I have a lot of because we do a lot of crafts here. But it does not have to be any specific time tape, just whatever tape can be able to hold down the coin. 12 seconds later. So as you can see, tape down my four points. Hopefully they won't slip out. If they do, just put a tape across too. But they should pretty much stay in place. The CD will be a little wobbly, but it's only because it's so thin and it sits in the grooves of the rubber bands. But you can just give it a try before you put your paint on it. Whoops. It might not spin perfect, but that's what's fun. Testing it out first will tell you if you need to tighten it or not. Mine, I think I need to tighten because what's happening is this pen is spinning, but the CD is not tight enough to hold on to it. So this is just kind of staying in place. So we are just going to tighten it up a little bit more. One minute, 37 seconds later. What I'm trying to do is just push some of the rubber bands down a little bit more. And then these up. That way, 
it'll thicken up right around where the CD sits. One hour later. Okay. It's a little bit better. It's almost tightened. Enough to start peaking. Two seconds later. Moms and dads, you might have to help the kids with the rubber bands just because your fingers will get tired. Okay, so perfect. You see it's not spinning the CD staying stationary. So now hopefully it spins a little bit better. Okay. Now it should look like this. Uh, like I said, you could put the coins on the bottom side too if you want to. I just like having these little divots for where I'm going to put my paint. Okay, now the paint, the fun part. I have a cup of water just because I have acrylic paints. Um, it'll kind of just help <laughs> the color spin a little bit more. Um, you can use any kind of paint though, wh whatever you want, it does not matter. I would suggest washable paints. <laughs> um, I see I put kind of like little paper borders here just in case it splatters. It's probably going to splatter because it's me and everything I touch just brings destruction. Um, I have like two greens and I have a pink and a blue just for some pretty little effects. But essentially you want to get your paint and you want it to be like a glob right on top of the CD. So you can use and like egg cartons or whatever. I found these at Dollar Tree. Uh, they're just like little paint holders, very cute, very tiny, easy to store. And you're just going to put your paint in it. Make sure you get a decent amount because like I said, you want to glob it onto the CD. Like This is acrylic, so it's kind of a little runny already. I might not actually need the water, but it's just good to have some just in case. You use whatever size brushes. I have a medium size and a small size, only because I plan to. I'm gonna work the brush. I plan to put a smaller size glob on, but you want a decent glob, and you are going to place it right on the CD. And it's going to be messy anyway, so do not be scared for your paint to spill. Later. Shout out to our IT guy, Eric, who is helping me film this right now. And he is getting very inventive using his coffee cup as a camera stand. It's really, really great. Take notes, everybody. This is what innovation means. Oh. Yeah, I'm just playing a little water because, like I said, all I have is acrylic paint here. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll just help with the splatter. And it's getting a little mixed up, but that's okay. okay. Um, now. We can attempt this and see how it goes. Wish me luck. Yeah. It literally went everywhere except for on the paper. But it's so pretty though. I'm sorry, Eric. Okay. And now you can literally just keep going. So I have a really big mess clamp. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it easier this time. And what I'm going to do is, if you've worked with paints before, that's great because you will obviously know way more about paint and how to make it a little bit more runny than I do. 
my younger sister likes to paint a lot, so I know a little bit, I guess. But I'm just adding some more water. This time I'm not going to spin it as fast. Sometimes I don't know my own strength and I get a little carried away. Now that I'm seeing the full effect of this, I will highly suggest maybe doing it outside <laughs> on the sidewalk or your drive through. But I actually went way better than I thought it was. So I'm happy about that. I feel like I should be quoting like Bob Ross. I'm just putting some little happy blobs, some happy clouds. This time I'm not going to spin it as fast, but to get the full effect, try it from different angles. Don't just spin it in the middle. So like I said, just make sure you do this outside because obviously it's a mess. But you can just, and if it falls, that's okay. It kind of adds like this really cool effect like right here. One million, zillion, jillion, billion, cotillion times later. And I will stop the spinning there because, like I said, I am creating a massive mess. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you spun it with me and it worked, that's great. Um, if not, keep trying. Um, a couple of issues you might have is, like I said, you might need to tighten up where your, your CD and your pen meet by using the rubber bands. If you have a hairband, that would probably be better because it's thicker. Um, but you just want to make sure, like, I'm holding the pen, and you want to make sure your CD does not turn. It doesn't spin. You want to be held in place. And then I use pennies. You can use dimes if you want to. I would suggest either pennies or dimes, just because I feel like the quarters and nickels will be um, too heavy. But, and then also make sure your CD is straight mine's a little tilted but you want to make sure it's straight and then it's not going to spin like a perfect top but it does getting get the spinning motion in there oh that was a good one and it's just something fun and then you can always clean it off and then just keep it in case you guys ever want to try it again but that is it for today's session i have a lot of cleaning up to do Thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you have lots of fun, and I hope you look forward to next month's Steam session. Thank you.